Welcome ladies and gentlemen. In this tutorial we're going to look at the clone step and JavaScript step in uh, Kettle, also known as Pentaho Data Integration. Um, imagine you are working for an international company that uh, offers subscription services and you are basically uh, creating a weekly KPI report. Your management ask you to include the budget figures as well so that they can compare budget uh, against uh, the actual figures. The problem is basically the company only has a monthly budget. There's no weekly one around. So you find yourself in the situation of either creating it manually or you heard about Kettle and know that you could do it uh, with the help of um, some fancy kettle functions. Uh, what you see here is uh, a simplified version of the budget. You see we have the month column, country column, the subscription base at the start of the month, the subscription base at the end, the amount of new subscriptions, uh, the revenues, variable costs and marketing spending. Um, I've just quickly created this data. It's not really very good data but uh, it should do for the purpose of this um, exercise. Okay, let's get started. Um, the main idea is to create first a daily budget out of the monthly one and then to roll it up to a weekly one. Okay, we're gonna create now um, a new transformation in um, Kettle. What you see right here is um, how the whole transformation will look in the end. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not gonna um, recreate everything, I'm gonna copy some steps to be a bit faster. Um, so I think overall this exercise doesn't take, or this um, transformation doesn't take very long to create but um, nobody wants to sit uh, like half an hour and watch a tutorial so I'm just gonna speed it a bit up. Let's create a, a new transformation and the uh, first thing we do is we're going to import um, our Excel, just use the Excel input step. You can browse for the file wherever you have it located or if you have the path handy like um, I do, you just click on add and you see it in the grid below. We're just going to specify which sheet we want to import, in this case it's only one. Um, we, leave the content and error handling section um, as it is and we're just gonna get the fields. Um, the month is an integer. I'm just gonna adjust this here a bit. Country string that's fine. Uh, we have to set the other one on number as well because obviously that's not the string. And uh, once we are finished with this, we just do a quick preview to see if the data is fine. So that looks all cool so far. And we can click OK and that's uh, basically it. Um, next thing we do is, is we try to figure out how many days each month has. Uh, therefore, we use the JavaScript uh, step. I'm just going to drag that in here and create the hop oopsie, between the Excel input and the JavaScript step. I'm just going to quickly uh, copy everything from here. It's a little bit faster. Okay, basically I'm using uh, not this one, but let's try again. I'm gonna use that step, that script now, um, to calculate um, the this per month. Um, I've just found it on the internet somewhere, so I'm not a big uh, JavaScript expert. Um, I usually just do a quick Google search and then um, see if I find a nice script. Okay, um, basically this function here. Um, very easy, 
um, to understand, I assume. Um, we store the output in the variable called days in month. And as we already have one row, um, we only want to tell um, Kettle to duplicate, uh, sorry, to clone the row, um, the amount of days in the month minus one. So in case we have, for example, February, we would get 28 days. Um, and um, we only want to tell Kettle to uh, clone it 27 times. And then um, what we also do here is, as you saw in the spreadsheet here, we don't have a year column. So I'm just going to add um, a field called year and set it to the default value. And um, in the end, I also calculate um, how many unsubscriptions we have because we need this later on to calculate the daily subscription base. Okay. I'm just going to um, specify here which output um, fields we want. So we just click on get variables. Uh, we don't want this one. It's a function. Um, just going to adjust the type to integer, it's only four digits, zero precision, this month is integer as well, so all of them except the last one can be integer, here should be two enough to zero precision, okay. Um, that's basically it. A good idea now is to um, have a preview. Everything looks fine. So you see we added uh, four fields. Um, the, the year which is um, always on 2010. The days in month which we calculated. So you see okay in general we have 31 days February 28 and so on. And then for the clone step we're gonna tell um, Kettle to clone the rows for general 30 times, for 28 times, and so on. And the unsubscriptions here have been calculated as well. Um, normally, if that would look like this um, figure, um, it would be a bit suspicious. But um, as I said, I used a bit uh, a quick and dirty approach to just generate this data here. So as you see here, in the amount of subscription, I just always added um, this amount, and it's the same for all rows. Hence, uh, that's actually not the problem here. Okay, so what we really want to make sure is that um, the input is properly, or that the data set is properly sorted. So we add the sort row set step, sorry. Um, create the hop again. Um, we sort it by country. Year and month. Okay. That's it. We set it all ascending years. And that's it then. Um, and then we can already go ahead and use the clone step, which we find uh, in uh, what was it? Utility clone row step. And we're just gonna say, okay, use a field from our stream, and the field should be this loop number. And here we go. Just save the transformation and uh, do a preview and just see if uh, everything looks as it should. Okay, so now obviously we have to check. Okay, we said um, in the, uh, for example, for general, we expect 31 rows. Uh, so if we scroll down, we see, okay, yes, exactly, created 31 rows and then it changes to February, so everything looks fine.